when it comes to economic issues like trade, like uh, immigration, uh, like entitlement reform, where, where do you have the biggest problem with Donald Trump? Well, I think he said last week he wanted to raise taxes again on the rich. I mean, that is not a conservative position. I think the speaker and I agree on that. I mean, the idea of slamming down the border shut, that's not a conservative position. Allowing us to compete in the world, that's what conservatives want to do. I mean, but the problem with Donald Trump is his position changes sometimes in the same speech. When he says he's flexible, I see insiders in Washington, not the speaker, but they say, hey, you know, it's good to see flexibility. That's exactly what the people don't want. They want someone who takes a stand. The problem is Trump's stands are going to change as we move forward. But on basic issues of life, you can't win as a Republican in this country unless you're 100% pro-life, in my opinion. If you don't stick with the party platform, and what I'm hearing from the Trump campaign is that they're flexible on issues of life as well. Mr. Speaker, I, I do want to talk about this issue of, of flips, because there's no question that, that Trump has taken various positions sure. over time. Minimum wage, he was against raising it, now he's for it. Uh, tax cuts, uh, first he was going to cut taxes dramatically for the wealthy, now he says he's still going to cut them, but not as much, that the tax increase will be smaller. And then there was this change just, just this week on banning Muslims. Take a look. For a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. It was a suggestion. Look, anything I say right now, I'm not the president. Everything is a suggestion. No matter what you say, it's a suggestion. Mr. Speaker, at some point, doesn't what Trump calls his, quote, flexibility become a problem? Sure, I think, except that it's always within a framework. Notice, on, on, the, on the rich, he said he's going to have a smaller tax cut. I mean, I, one of Trump's problems is he insists on speaking for an hour and 15 minutes off the cuff. And while I do a fair amount of that, I can tell you, anytime you do that day after day with the news media watching as they should for a presidential candidate, you're going to have moments that you wish you hadn't had. But, but let me go back as an example of conservatism. Ronald Reagan, in his diary in 1986, says he is signing the Simpson-Mazzoli Act because, which is the immigration bill, because we have to get control of the border. I mean, it's not accurate to say that conservatives can't be in favor of controlling the border. 